What are the top three drills that I practice on the range? All right, guys, welcome back to another day on the range with me, Blake Wright. I was looking at some of the comments from the last video I did and uh, me and Chell were mountain biking the other day talking about it and it was funny to us that a bunch of people were thinking that I was Chad with a clean shaven face. Some people thought I was chilly and so we were just laughing about it, it was funny. But if you don't know who I am, I'm Blake Wright. I'm president here at 3 of 7 Project and much of my time is spent uh, doing front and back end work on things that we do here, but aside from being a follower of Christ, my biggest passion probably is shooting. I just love to shoot. I love to be out here on the range. And so today what I want to talk to you guys about is the top three drills that I like to work when I'm out here on the range. And they are single shot from the holster, shooting bullseye from the 25 yard line, and then taking multiple shots or shot cadence and, and then also target transition comes into the drill where I'm working shot cadence. So I wanna get out here on the range. I wanna to talk to you guys about why I run them, how I run them and uh, show you what I got. Today, we're gonna to be doing this drill with the setup that I have, which is an out of the waistband holster. Maybe I'll do another video on different carry positions and just talk about drawing from those holsters and different holster setups in ways that I've found that have been comfortable to carry my gun. But today we're gonna to be using this. So when we're doing single shot from the holster, there's a few things that we can do right to make that better. So I'm not gonna go into great detail on how to do this movement. Uh, if you guys are interested in hearing that, we actually just created a whole range series and we're releasing it to the Patreon crowd, so the guys and, and gals that support us there on Patreon, we're gonna be putting those videos out for free for them, and then we're also going to be selling it on the website as a video course if you don't wanna to subscribe to Patreon. But let's talk a little bit about the drill today. So when we're drawing from the holster, single shot, we can be really fast when we're getting to our gun. We're coming out, we clear the holster, and as we begin to present our weapon, we go ahead and move our finger to the trigger when our barrel's pointed down range, right? When we know if this gun went off, that I would hit that target in front of me. We can move our finger to the trigger. And as we begin to press out, I'm pulling the slack out of my trigger to where when I get to full extension, my sights are lined on target, I just have a fine little movement. Boom, trigger breaks, and the gun goes off. So my goal, is that when I get to full extension, I just make a last little minor adjustment with my sights and my gun's going off as soon as I reach full extension. I've got a shot timer here today. I'm gonna to be timing this. Here at 307 Project, we set standards for ourselves because if we don't, how do you know if you're getting better or worse or what to shoot for? And our standard for this drill, if you've seen our targets that we have here, uh, our standard for single shot from the holster is one and a half seconds. So I'm not shooting our targets today. I'm just shooting this steel. And so um, let's run it and see how it goes. All right, here we go. All right, that was 1.25. Let's run it again. One point two three. I'll run it one more time. One point three one. So I was pretty consistent there between one point two and one point three. Uh, that's acceptable. I like to try to get it down closer to the one second, but I'll go with that one and a quarter second kind of range there. So. That's one drill that I love to practice. When I come to the range, I'll usually just dedicate one full mag. I'll just load one mag all the way up and I'm just doing single shot from the holster. I'm, I'm working on my reaction time from the buzzer. Soon as the beep goes, I'm trying to get to my gun as fast as I can. And then I'm getting on the trigger fast, extending, working on pulling the slack out of that trigger as I present my weapon. And the last thing that helps me, especially at close range, is 
it becomes instinctual to where you don't even really have to look at your sights at this distance. And it's almost like throwing a baseball, but uh, you guys, if you've watched some of our videos, we talk about grip and getting your thumb up high on that slide where your thumb is pointed down range, just like this. And I think about pointing my thumbs at the target when I draw, point my thumbs at the target. And that helps me to line the sights up and bring my gun to the same spot each time so that I'm efficient in that movement. So let's talk about taking multiple shots and then transitions. All right, guys, the next drill that I want to talk about will help us work on shot cadence or taking multiple shots and also target transition. So why are those two things important? Well, taking multiple shots is important because if you ever get into a gunfight, it's very likely that you will have to take multiple shots. If you look up any police shootings or just shootings in general, you will find that one bullet often doesn't stop the threat. There's multiple shots fired and they have to shoot until the threat has stopped. The next, re the next thing is target transition. Why is that important? <clears throat> well, just like studying those other, uh, those other shootings and videos, oftentimes there's multiple threats. And so if you don't practice transitioning targets or even just looking for those other threats, if you get honed in and focused on that one, then it could be a big problem. So we wanna become efficient at taking multiple shots, looking for and transitioning between different targets. And the way this drill will work is I have three steel silhouettes. I'll move the camera here in a second so that you guys can see that. And what I'm going to do is start from that holstered position, just like we were doing single shot from the holster. So we'll continue to work on that draw stroke. So I'm gonna draw from the holster. I'm gonna shoot each target three times, moving left to right and then I'm gonna work back across from right to left. And then that is helping me work on still the draw stroke. It's helping me work on managing recoil and shot cadence, and also helping me work on target transition. So just like with drawing from the holster, let's talk about a few things that we can do right in order to make this beneficial while we're out here and help us progress in our skills. So with a striker fired pistol, such as a Glock or you know, anything without an external hammer or, or a hammer at all, there's something called trigger reset. And what that is, is when the trigger breaks, you guys heard the click, the slide will cycle. You only have to come out far enough till you hear this next click. And that means the trigger has reset and is ready to be pulled again. So listen for that click. Click, then I can pull it again. And what we see a lot of times with students out here on the range is they'll take the shot, the slide will cycle and they'll come all the way back out off the trigger and then get back on it. Just like that. And that is a very inefficient movement because there's no, there's no need to have to come all the way back out off the trigger each time that you pull it because you only have to come out far enough in order to, for the trigger to reset itself. So if you'll watch here, this is the proper way to do it. You pull the trigger, the shot goes, the slide cycles, come out to there, pull it again. You guys see how much shorter and more efficient of a movement that is than this? And I'm not flicking my finger out off the trigger each time. So with shot cadence and taking multiple shots, that's a big thing that you can practice in order to make that uh, faster for you, make you better at, at shooting multiple shots. One thing just uh, with target transition is that you wanna look at your target before you point your gun at it. If you watched the last video I did on uh, like talking about going slow where needed and that makes you faster in the end, with target transition, you want to look at your target and then move your gun. If you move your eyes and your gun at the same time, almost always you'll oversweep your target and then at that point you're making unnecessary movements which is just inefficient and takes un unneeded time. So we want to look at the target and then move our gun after we've looked at it. So I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see the target. We'll run through the drill and see how I do. All right guys, so here we go with the drill. I'll show y'all what it looks like. A good time standard to shoot for with this is six seconds. If you can take these shots in six seconds or get this drill done in six seconds, that's a pretty good, pretty good time standard to shoot for. So let's run it and see how I do. All right, so that was uh, 547. 
What I'm working on is getting on target fast, still applying what we learned with the single shot from the holster to this drill, getting on target fast and taking those fast follow-up shots. I set myself up with a good grip. I'm working on that fast trigger reset, and then I slow down when I transition targets. I look at my next target, and then I move my gun, take the next three shots fast. And so that's a fun drill. It's a good one. You get lots of shooting in. It's, it's uh, working multiple skills and fundamentals. And uh, that's one of my favorite ones that I work out here. So let's go back to the 25 yard line, talk about shooting 25 yard bullseye. All right, so here we are back at the 25 yard line and we're going to work on shooting bullseyes at 25 yards. Well, why is this important? 25 yards is quite a ways with the pistol, but I'll tell you why it's important. It's because it doesn't get practiced that much and it often exposes the minor deficiencies in your fundamentals that don't show themselves at seven yards. You can get away with a grip that's a little bit off at seven yards. You can get away with the incorrect trigger press. You can get away with minor errors in your side alignment, but the further you back up, the more those things affect where your target goes. So the slightest error at 25 yards and your fundamentals of shooting will greatly affect your point of impact downrange. And we were running a course of fire one time with one of our buddies. He was putting on the shooting challenge, uh, Edgar Mills over at Osprey Shooting Solutions. And part of the drill was 25 yards. And we were shooting this little still silhouette. And I hadn't been practicing that much. And man, I got into that drill and I kept missing and I couldn't figure out why. And you know what? It's because I never practiced it. And I didn't realize where I was deficient in the minor, the, the, the minor deficiencies in my fundamentals because they don't show themselves if you're only shooting at, you know, 10, seven, five yards, anything like that. You get back to 25, 20 yards, then they start to really show themselves. So the way that I like to work this drill is I take a small target. What we have out here is about a four inch steel plate. And when you shoot it, it just pops back and then comes back up. But if you don't have things like that, you could shoot a, uh, you know, if you're shooting paper, just draw yourself a small circle. Or if you have our targets, we have the different size dots on each target and you could pick one of those. But find you something small that you can really focus on and try to hit that bullseye from 25 yards. And I guarantee you it'll show you some deficiencies in your fundamentals. So I'm just gonna work through three rounds of shooting each one. I have three poppers down here. I'm gonna shoot each one one time. And so I'm gonna work through three rounds of that. It'll be a total of nine shots. So I'll move the camera so you guys can see that. All right, so here we go with the drill. Hope you guys can see that. It's kind of a little bit far out uh, with the camera not zoomed in, but I'm out here by myself. I'm trying to do the best I can so y'all can see me and see the target. So let's give it a shot. All right, so there's three rounds of that. I think I might have missed one shot. And uh, the way I like to do that is I like to take a few shots and then I just take a wrap off, holster the gun, think about what I did right, what I might have done wrong, and then I do another set and try to correct it. Uh, speed is not of any concern to me back here. This is more about hammering home the fundamentals of marksmanship and really honing those things in so that at seven yards, it's, man, it's just like, it's not even, you're not even thinking, it's just happening. But back at 25, you're really hammering home those fundamentals. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you got something out of this content, please like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and drop us a comment. We always love hearing back from all of you guys that tune in. Enough said.